Hey guys, welcome to Goofer King Science. Today we're going to be synthesizing 1,3-acetone dicarboxylic acid, and then we're going to esterify it to diethyl 1,3-acetone dicarboxylate. For this experiment, we'll be needing citric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. Now it's time to crush your expectations. Diethyl 1,3-acetone dicarboxylate is easily obtainable through the internet and the product from this reaction is not near as pure as what you will buy online. This is merely to explore the science. Start by filling the bottom of a small beaker with citric acid. Now get out your sulfuric acid, make sure it's concentrated, and cover the citric acid in sulfuric acid. Do this outside or in a fume hood because this is going to produce carbon monoxide. This should be left to react for a minute or so. Here's a picture showing you what is happening on the molecular scale. You can see that the hydroxy and the CO2H groups that are bonded to the middle carbon are taken off and are replaced with a double bond to an oxygen. It should be noted that a better yield would be obtained if 20% oleum were used in place of sulfuric acid and this was carried out in an ice bath. But since this is just to explore the science, we're not going to worry about all that. 1,3-acetone dicarboxylic acid will not last long as it will quickly decay into acetone and carbon dioxide. We're going to esterify it to preserve it. This will turn it into the diethyl 1,3 acetone dicarboxylate. First, add some ethanol and then some more sulfuric acid. Now get a heat source and heat this mixture so that we can finish the esterification. Now the pale yellow color of diethyl 1,3 acetone dicarboxylate is apparent. This gives us a little more reassurance that we have actually created this chemical. Also, if you've ever smelled an ester, you can tell that this definitely is one. If you don't know what an ester smells like, they smell very fruity. Here's a picture of the esterification process. You can see that the ethanol molecules take the place of the hydrogen on the carboxylic acid groups. Here's a close-up of our finished product. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment for more science videos.